What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow and FM20 series where we look at some of the young talent on Football Manager and we see how the game makers and the get on and gives you a bit of idea guys of how they can develop and all that jazz. So today is the penultimate episode, there's only one more episode after this, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new and check out the second channel, second channel which... Twitch channel, second channel, Twitch channel down below, and my night podcast as well, and Twitch channel, which is live on Fridays, Saturdays, and Tuesdays, work and football permitting, as I always like to say. So today's player is Moise Keane, a young Italian striker who moved everything this summer, so we can't sign for a fee. Um, we're going to have to jump into between his stats in a second. Um, looking at his editor stats, his current build is 127, his range is 130 to 160 for a potential ability so obviously um you can't get in first season because you just, you just joined them he was a popular player for a while on foot manager when he was very young at Juventus everyone's in the sign this guy let's dive in look at the stats and reports and see how the how they reckon he should how I reckon he is at the moment is it fair magic um you can see obviously his stats he's, he's a striker pressing forward advance forward work rates there to do that the pace and acceleration there to do it as well. And the stamina not great, but that can maybe be improved upon. High aggression, bravery, determination and finishing and technique, very, very handy. His report indicates that he is... I'm not going to read these out, guys, anymore. I think it's just... You can read them yourself. Um, I don't need to read them out, I don't think. It also just gets me tongue-tied occasionally as well. Um, two and a half star current ability, four star, maybe to five star current build, uh, potential ability. Um, so, yeah, obviously... £50 million pound with the potential is, is going to be a player that could be expensive to get out of do, um, out of um, Everton. Obviously, I can get in the first season. His player traits, his left foot is his weakest foot, but he's reasonable with his left foot, very strong on his right foot. He likes to shoot with power, quits inside from both wings, likes the ball playing defeat and runs the ball often. So, yeah, I think this guy could be retrained um, as a winger, um, potentially, um, because of the dribbling... And the pace definitely could be worked upon. Um, definitely on the definitely on the left hand side could definitely be worked upon. So yeah, let's go forward, guys, and let's see if he does well at Everton. And if he doesn't, where he goes. Right, folks, he's still at Everton, and you can see here uh, still very good stats um, on him. Um, just not getting massive amount of football, um, but this is the actually the first run through of him. Both other attempts were similar in terms of lack of football, um, which is disappointing. Uh, just I think, it's, I think it's just one of those things that happens uh, in these reviews, unfortunately. But still, not a bad player, is he? Finishing, dribbling, the, the strength, uh, not strength, strength's not bad, sorry, yeah. Pace, fitness, and agility, acceleration, still a very good player. Uh, looking at the player traits on here, you can see relatively the same again. Um, in, injuries, one big injury for three months for broken ankle. How did he get on at various clubs? So first year Everton, didn't play that much. Um, again, didn't play that much. I don't know why I didn't play him. Really don't know. This happened a couple of times as well. Southampton, loaned him, didn't play him. The one time he did play in the Premier League for Norwich, he got six goals um, in 12, well, in 14, yeah, 14 minutes in the league, four goals, six goals in total in the season. Yeah, just a weird one again. Just we this seems to happen quite a lot. I don't know if it's just a thing that we're unlucky with the players we pick. But his range is one thirty to one sixty. So there's not much increase in potentiality range. Um anyway from one to seven. So I think that's also something to maybe back to him. But like I said, the game can't compensate for you and you guys getting involved in it. So yeah, let's go forward guys, another jump and I wanna see if he can establish himself at a club somewhere. And now he's gone to Atlanta, and again, relatively almost exactly the same. Really, no drop off at all. Really, with his with his technicals, his physicals, and his uh, mental stats. Injury record, relatively injury free, which is pretty good. So let's have a look here. Lots of loan deals. Norwich had him on loan one season. He got six goals. Then he got four and two. Then on Sanford Burn for two point one million pounds, seven goals, one assist. Went on loan to went, went, went on to Germany and got I can't say that name. Got nine goals and five assists. Atlanta loaned him, didn't play him. Weird. So I bought him six million pounds. Weird. It's weird. There was even weird ones than this. There was actually one in one of the reviews I did. 
um, which had like I think I think it was two or three loan deals in a row where he didn't play a single game. So I don't know why. I don't see anything on his abilities here that would indicate that. Uh, there was there's nothing here that stands out as like this is the problem. Um, but anyway, yeah. I mean, when he does start playing some football, he does seem to get he does seem to score goals. Um, but yeah, it's a weird one. This a weird one. I think he's still a good player. I think in the right team, he's still quality. Let's do know jump and see if we can finally get double figures for goals. And yeah, it happened again. Um, still good st stats, but look at Atlanta. They bought him and not played him, and this happened twice. Um, well, actually, no, it didn't. It once it happened, but the stats relatively stayed the same. But it was various different levels of play time. So it's a weird one. Uh, I don't know why um they didn't play him. But this is the best he got. Um, in terms of actual stats, but obviously maybe just I don't know. Idiots didn't want to play him. Injury record again, not really injury prone in my opinion. So it's a weird one. Um, it's a, it's a weird one. Um, but I think this guy's better than FM is showing here. I think if you get him really going and play him a lot more than these guys have, then I think you you can do a lot better with him. But I think push side to him, it looks like you can get him quite cheap and on loans. Maybe if everyone don't play him much. Um, finishing is good, pace is good, he's got good, good, good work rate, it, it could good technique. Yeah, I think he's better than the game has shown here. So, don't forget guys, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to drop a like on the video down below, and subscribe as well, and I will see you all next time.